Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. So in the previous video tutorial, as you guys remember that we have successfully designed the layout for our, or you can say the user interface for our login activity and the register activity, okay? And before we proceed and work on our register and login activity, let me tell you one more thing that is you can see that when we run our app, we basically are on the main activity. OK, but we do not want the user to just come here directly. I mean, we have to add some validations that is only the register user will access this uh, app okay that is uh, only they will uh, when, when by entering their name and email we will allow the users to enter into this app and you see the user post okay to, uh, basically to the main activity i'm talking about okay where a user will uh, see the post from his friends for his from his friend from school college university or anywhere so let's first do it okay so you can see that we are on the main activity so before we proceed we have to check the user authentication that either the user is authenticated or not if the user is not authenticated then we will send him to the login activity and uh, also if he is not registered then basically first he will he will have to create an account he will have to register theirself with us i mean with this social networking app which we are going to develop okay so let's close this uh, this xml file for now and let's go to the main activity and uh, let's create here a firebase auth just to uh, for i mean just to check the user authentication that is either the user is authenticated or not so you can say private firebase auth and let's call it m auth okay and then inside our onCreate method, we can say mauth equals to Firebase auth dot get instance. Okay. And then after uh, this, I mean onCreate method outside the onCreate method here, we can create a method on start. And whenever the app is, I mean whenever the app runs, then this on start method will be called uh, called automatically. It will inside this uh, on start method. We will basically implement a code to check the user uh, authentication. Either the user is logged in successfully or not. Or you can say it will check the authentication of the user. That is either the user is registered or not. Okay. So yeah, we can say if first of all we have to uh, get the user. Okay, the Firebase user. So we can say firebase user and uh, let's call it uh, current user this will be basically the current online user okay who will be using our app so current user equals to firebase auth sorry m auth dot get user id uh, sorry get current user okay and then inside this if statement we can simply check for the current user so we can say current user if current user equals to null which means that it will me i mean which means that the user is not authenticated okay so what we gonna do we will simply send the user to the login activity so we can simply now going to create a method and we will implement the code uh, inside that method to send the user to the login activity so we can say we can call this send user to main sorry to login activity okay we are going to send the user to the login activity if he is not uh, authenticated i mean he has to uh, log in properly by providing their name and their email and password okay so this will be our method so you can simply click here click on this red bulb it says create method click on it and you can see that our method is created successfully okay so now uh, inside this we can simply create an intent intent and let's call it uh, login intent which will be equals to new intent and we are on the main activity so we can say main activity or this and we are going to send the user to the login activity dot class 
that's it and we have to uh, add some validations here that is if the user uh, press the back button then we will not allow the user to go back to the main activity unless he create account or, or if he has already an account then he will log in then so we can say login intent dot add flags so these are basically the validations which we are adding uh, added to it okay so intents dot add flag activity new task and then this pipe sign okay that is this one that this is our pipe this is the pipe sign okay and then we can say intent dot flag activity flag activity clear task put a semicolon here and let's start the activity for the login intent so we can say login intent and we have to finish it this okay and now let's run our app okay so let's wait for it so before uh, when we uh, at the start of this video as you guys know that we were on the main activity but now if the run app runs you can see that it check the validation and it simply it simply uh, redirect us to the login activity okay so it is working fine i mean it is awesome so yeah this validation works fine now we have to work on our login activity okay and then on our register activity so let's come here now let's close this main activity and let's first go to the activity login.xml okay so you remember that we have successfully assigned uh, ids to all these fields okay and uh, let's uh, let me check one more thing that is the so this is basically our app icon and let's give some margin from the top okay so it will be 15 will be good okay and uh, yeah 15 will be good so yeah let's close it and let's go to the login activity and let's initialize the fields of the login activity okay so you can say private we have we have basically one button okay simple button so press alt enter and import this button and this button is for the login button i mean that one is our login button okay and then we have two edit text that is one is for the email okay we can simply we can simply call it as a user email comma and the second one is for a password so we can say user password okay then we have a text view which is for the don't have an account let me show it to you again which is this one okay so this is uh, we have to cost it also we will use it as a link to the register activity so we can set text view and uh, let's name it as a need new account okay we can call it need new account link yeah that's it and now we have these uh, buttons for the facebook for the facebook login sign in and for the twitter sign in and for the google sign in but we have we will work it on the future video tutorials okay for now we are just going to allow the user to log in through email and password okay so we will uh, initialize those buttons later on in the upcoming tutorials okay so for now we are just go with these fields okay so inside this one create method we can simply uh, say that is uh, we have a need new account link so we can say need new account equals to this is a text view so we can say text view find view by id or dot id dot uh, what's the id for it it is register account link so you can say register account link then we have a user email field so you can say user email equals to it is basically an edit text so you can say edit text find you by id or dot id dot 
let's check the ID it is login email so we can say login email that's it okay and then we have user password equals to edit text okay find you by ID or dot ID dot login password and then we have a login button so we can say login login button equals to button find view by id or dot id dot login button that's it okay so now uh, we have to set a click listener on this need new account link first okay that is if the user have uh, not any account then definitely we will redirect the user to the registered activity so we can say need new account link dot set on click listener oh sorry not this one on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click method we can simply say we will basically send the user to the register activity so for doing that we will first i mean we will create a method for that so we can say send user to register activity we are going to create a method by this name okay so send user to register activity click here and create this method inside login activity so this is our method which is created successfully and here we can say intent and let's call it register intent equals to new intent okay and we are on the main activity sorry not the main activity we are on the login activity dot this and we want to send the user to the register activity so we can say register activity dot class that's it. so make sure to put a semicolon here at the end and we can simply start the activity sta start activity for the register intent and then we can simply write finish so now let's run our app to see if it is working or not. So our app is running now and now let's click on this link. So you can see that we are now on the register activity. So it works successfully. I mean it works fine. Okay. If I go back. Okay. You can see that. Uh, it basically finished the previous activity okay so you have to uh, I mean it will not allow you to go back to the main activity unless you if I let me open the app okay which is this one okay social network if I open it then you can see that it redirect us to the login activity so yeah it is working fine I mean the validation working fine okay if I go here, then you can see that it redirects us, redirect us to the register activity. But the only thing is that is when we click this back button, then we want to send the user to the login activity back, not on the main activity. Okay. But if I click on this back button, the whole app, I mean, uh, close. Okay. So let's uh, do this. Okay. So we have to just remove, I mean, the method which we created that is send user to register activity. All you need is to remove this finish from here. Okay. So now if I run the app and let's see what changes occur in our app so our app is running now successfully now if i click on this don't have an account need new account link then it sends us to the register activity if i uh, press this back button again then you can see that i am uh, i mean it sends us to the login activity again okay if i click this link again it sends us to the register activity if i press the back button 
then it sends us to the login activity so the whole thing is working fine i mean it is really nice okay so this is it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel press the bell icon thumbs up for this video and put a comment below and see you guys in the next video bye for now